Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Survival State. I'm excited for this. We've been going really well on doing episodes for this and as you can see, new texture pack. I've just finished recording a Bendo Craft episode for those who are happy and I already showcased this in that episode but because this comes out earlier than the Bendo Craft episode, this is Vanilla Tweaks from the Exuma Void website. It, uh, it's basically given me the possibility to make my own texture pack with vanilla tweets. So as you can see in here, it's shulker boxes and yes, I've made shulker boxes from those shulker boxes I've got in the end. Anyway, but it's got like 1.12 shulkers and you know, clear tab screen and all that awesome jazz. Um, don't know what he he's on about. I'm lagging a bit. Look at my ping, that is horrible, but what I want to do today is, oh, okay. anyway, is to first of all fix my inventory, and people say, hi, oh, i got to stop getting distracted, anyway, um, I want to go to the bone chest, chuck these in here, basically, put stuff back in their system, or become lazy and just chuck them out everywhere, this is a spruce chest, Anyway, this episode, I want to basically, I don't really know, because like, you see me in other sort of episodes, I mainly been finishing up projects instead of starting one sort of thing. I haven't really started a project itself. Just too lazy, I'll deal with them later. Anyway, um, I need you. And... Just gotta get this stuff all cleaned up. Sorry. Um, let's chuck them in here. Need to trade one chocolate box or something. Uh, yeah, that can come out. I'll sort through this off camera, but what I do wanna do today is run outside quickly and see what I can do outside. Gotta go through this again soon. Just chuck that stuff. Anyway, but enough of what I was doing. I want to kind of showcase that things are going on here. Has this room been? No, has been extended. Anyway, let's come out here and it's night time. Okay, night time's not too bad. Looks like Jumpy set up his permanent beacon, but yeah, put a beacon light in there. Yeah, I'm lagging bad. Yeah, this is not the sort of thing I like recording in, where I've got bad lag. As you can- oh my goodness. Okay. I'm sick of people who come along to the farm and hit the button, use the farm, but not replace it. But let's see. Co- Alright, we're going to catch someone right now. I bet you it's going to be the same person as last time, so we'll do this like someone's- no, it's not the one I need to do. I left clicked it. I need to do right click. And we'll see. Edgox. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, more. Okay. Um, let's see. So the other day ago, I clicked it. And turned it off. Pont turned it off after him. Dragon just turned it on. Eyal fixed it. Ed. Cheeky. Look, if you're going to use this, it's not like some sort of way where you can... Oh yes, the yell just reminded me of what it is once you came online. I'll tell you that immediately. Welcome back. But if you're going to use this, turn it off afterwards and replant. I don't want to come here and have to replant it. Anyway. Enough of me mumbling about what I want to do. Oh, with a black nether brick, that looks so much better. Anyway. I'll fix it up later. What I want to do today is I want to go and... Um... Sorry. Skelly Farm. I want to go transport a mending villager for one of my friends who is a yell. He's got a mending villager and he wants me, I've offered him, and he wants me to go and transport him. Now I was going to do it like right now, you know, playing this, but it's like really laggy. 
it is frustrating me. I'm trying to play this and like, look. Ah. I am just standing in the middle. Um, and it's quite annoying. Oh, here we go. I've landed. Am I going to do the block lag thing now? I hope not. I better not. Okay. Let's just check it out, see if it's working. I don't know why I came in the first place and wasn't meant to come here. But what I am probably going to do is try to work out, you know, get chords down and everything. I have them here, so hold on, let me just go access them. I need to go to my pictures, because I took a screenshot, I think, yesterday. Won't be long. I can do this on camera. You can watch a screen of glass. And, um... Okay, some of you may know what I'm meaning. Some of you may have really beefy computers and go, Wow, this is great. I've got a beefy computer. Why can't Bendo? If you want to send me one, go ahead. Find out my address and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. But, when you get laggy and then it goes into your computer, that's what just happened just there. Anyway. So I can farm bones here. That's, it. that's how I had so much bones in me just then. Anyway, but I've got the chord, so it's 1329 72 3885, and I need to hit that into my nether portal calculator. So I'm just going to that now. You guys will be looking at a frozen Minecraft screen for a minute. Oh, you know why I have so much lag? I just realised. It's because I am running a video right now. Like, I'm, as I'm recording right now, I'm posting Friday's video, so it's good timing, definitely. But what I want to do quickly is instead of making you guys just sit there and go, oh my gosh, Bendo, do something, I'm just going to tell you a bit of a story that I want to tell you guys for quite some time. So when I first played Minecraft, you know, all got your newbie stories. So what I want to know today is your newbie, your most noobish thing in Minecraft that you have done. My most noobish thing I did with my brother. It was very stupid because you remember the times when Minecraft PE was free? Great times, yeah. Well, me and my brother, my brother and I, we, we got it and we were excited to play it. So we played it together and we're wondering, how do we get cobblestone? Yep, some of you are already face slapping, you know, go for the face slap. Some of you are already doing that. Some of you may not be. Some of you may be doing it now. Enough of that. We used to think that that's what you could do. Um, sorry, we used to think, skipping ahead of myself. We used to think that finding Finding cobblestone was, well, near water. Yep, we were so newbie, we used to go into a new world and go, yeah, and then we'd join each other, you know, because back then you could just do a quick join, and we used to go and look for lakes to get cobblestone. And we used to, see, here's the village, you just here. run around and go, here's some water. We'll mine the mine around and look for cobblestone. We're just complete idiots. And you know, we've just started. You know, do the most nerdy stuff. You know, not use tools. You know, use a bare hand to get stuff. It was really new. And it took us about ten minutes until I was like, "This isn't right." And my brother agreed with me, and we we learnt that to get cobblestone, you had to find stone. And a pick on it. Yeah. We're, we're not the greatest at that, were we? I've just realised I've come here and we don't even need to be here yet. I need to go get obsidian. I bet you the obsidian supply downstairs is empty. It's been depleted. So let's go quickly go down there. But like I said at the start of this, I want to know your most noobish stuff. Your most... I can't speak anymore. Your most noobish starts. When you first played Minecraft, what did you do that was so newbie that 
you want to share with people. So your most newbish thing, could have been your first thing, your most newbish, anything that's newbie that you want to share. But anyway, I need to find a bucket. Do I have any? One, one, two, three. Jeez, lights killing me right now. Okay. Grab a bucket. Fish farms are good. I come down here a lot and it's all busted. Like someone's come along and accidentally placed a block in the water and yeah, that quite annoys me. Yeah, it annoys me quite much. I can't even speak today. But it annoys me when I come along and someone's just gone in and taken the water out of or busted a piece of string. I'm not going to point anyone out. I do have co-inspect, so I can check that we done it, but I'm not going to poke anyone out. Anyway, so we'll quickly go get some more obsidian with my great pick of mine. So that's my most newish thing. Going back to the newish thing, I'm getting distracted. I used to think that cobblestone you could only find near a water source. I've asked, what are your thoughts? Like, what have you actually done to a that's really newbish. So, not... Oh, I've been blown up by a creeper. That's how newbish I am. Not that stuff. Like, if it was... I don't know. It's basically whatever you feel like is newbish that you want to share. So, oh, oh hello. Um, someone's working down here. I've never seen this. Let me check about this. They have just revealed something. Um... You guys saw nothing, okay? But I came down here to find a lava source. I guess I'll go find a different place, I guess. Um, I know what to do. RTP. Oh, talk with me. Okay, so that's a noobish thing. And then another thing that's pretty stupid that I do is I like to start a single player world. I used to. Sorry start a single player world and basically we're going to create event. Uh, is there a ghost block? There might be a ghost block. Hold on. I used to go into a single player world and then put it into creative. And there we go. Oh right, look. I'm doing some Minecraft myth busting. You know you could use a picture find um, find ghost spots. Anyway, used to go into a Minecraft world and make it into a creative. And then with that creative, I then decide that it'd be a smart idea to make a whole entire world, you know, do all that really cool stuff. Basically make everything so I'm end game stuff. And then, here we go. And then play in survival. Great idea at the time, and then seemed a bit stupid not long after. I agree, it is a bit of a silly idea, you know, make a Minecraft world, it's single player, it's in survival, but then you change it to creative, so you can just basically be in creative, it's, it's not the smartest thing I've done, I admit, but you guys would have your opinions, you know, there's probably other stuff that you guys have done that you find a bit stupid. And if you're willing to share, I'm happy to read. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to mine all this up, get all of this obsidian that I need. And I'll come back to you guys shortly once I get all this done. Okay, we are back and I've done some mining. It didn't take too long. It's like a minute after I've just left you guys. Anyway, um, I've got the... Obsidian. I'm gonna chuck the obsidian that I don't need in here. So what I need to do is go over. I need a boat first. Nearly left without a boat. Yeah, that's what I need. Okay, now I can go to the pool and set up a portal here. So I need you to. It's probably best if I put it in the ground. See, already being newish, and I bet the 
I've already got a boat, thank you. Okay. That's just me being stupid, I guess. Not stupid, but... Bit of a dirt. Anyway, I want to grab this obsidian, light up the portal and get the village ready. So, there we go, portal's been lit. Um, I want to make a catch, a path so I can right, uh, drive the boat across. Grab some dirt, you know. You, you find this st sort of stuff in desert somewhere. You find dirt and cobble. Okay. He's here. Take him into the portal. Yep, there we go. He's through. Let's hope that we can go through. Quick check that I am recording. Yep. You guys know I do that quite a lot. And he is alive, thankfully. No, I don't want to travel back. Um. Okay. Let's put this boat down and get him in it. Thanks, mate. Okay. So whereabouts are we? Where? We where we're supposed to be. Hundred. Yep. Where where we are? Okay. So now that I am here, this guy should be fine. You should be fine, won't you? Okay. What I need to do is go T outpost six. I think it is. So it's going to take us back to the overworld, and yep, here we are. There's Azura. It's AFK in four. There's Alt. Her old Biel. Biel is uh, the creator of this place and he wants me to bring the villagers over here. But anyway, I want to get the cohorts here. So it's negative. Oh, okay, we've got a long way to go. Negative four. Never. Can't even talk. Negative seven. Four oh nine. Yes, I'm entering it this in the, in the calculator. And the Z. The Z was come on four nine nine two four nine nine two. Enter that in the portal calculator. And I'm gonna to go to negative nine hundred and twenty six six hundred twenty four. Just gonna check the staff chat. Sorry, negative nine hundred and twenty six six hundred twenty four. Okay. No staff on it, okay, it's just me. Now I need to go back to those cohorts, see? It's all mix and match and that sort of stuff. Jump through. Lives killing me. Hey! Hey, look! Well, not look, you guys can't see, but... The, uh... The video has stopped uploading, because it's finished, so... Yeah, I've just made you guys this look while I was looking, anyway. Video is finished uploading, so I guess now that once I finish this cut, I'll publish it. Anyway, I need to go down, so it's this way here. Yeah. And then I need to go 624. So that's I need to go in that direction. Okay, so I need to bring you, my good sir. I need to go this way. So go through here, and it's a boat. So I need to go on a Two bike path. Yeah, I'm gonna cut here and basically do some work. Get him over. Uh, get get a tunnel over, and then I'll put him in the boat. Bring the boat along. Go. Bring him over. So catch you guys all. Lava. Don't wanna die today. Baby. Let's hope that I didn't get the source block. I know that. That should get it. Okay. Now I'm going to cut. And I'll see you guys shortly. Once I've got the tunnel done. Bit of an update. We have reached the 926 mark. Well, it's 924 there. Um, and well, now I've just got to go over to 624. And we're nearly there. It's a really long tunnel. I've had to cross lots and lots of lava lakes. So that will kill the village if the boat touch this. So um, I'm gonna chuck this in. Come down here and continue on with the parcels. So 624. Okay, so I've got about 100 blocks to 
continue on, then I'll build a portal. So, um, I'm going to keep you on here. We've passed a, a base, actually. We passed a MLG Fades base, and... Ooh. 624. Oh, it's back here, you see. Talking's past the time. Um, the portal has to be 926, so I um, need this. And right here. Okay. Um, to grab these blocks and build over a path so we can swing the boat around. Okay. Getting distracted, as I was saying. We found someone's base. Pretty cool. Killed two wind scones, didn't get anything. Welcome this person back. <sighs> but doesn't bother me too much. Like I wasn't expecting a skull straight up. If I did get one I'd be really happy, but I wasn't expecting anything. Just blocks in. Okay. Um I'll go fetch the villager and we'll be back. Shortly. Catch you soon then. And we're back. We've got the villager. And now for a uh, quite long ride, you see. This boat is really slow. Ooh, I hope he doesn't suffocate. That is good. Okay, so what do we want to name? Because it's going to be a long ride, so we want to talk to my friend. What do we want to name him? Hmm. Roger. Let's name him Roger. Roger the Mending Villager. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So this Roger, we're going to talk to. We're going to tell him a little bit of story. Once upon a time, there were five villagers. One was a cleric, one was a blacksmith, one was a librarian, one was a cartographer. How many have I said? Blacksmith, librarian, cartographer, cleric, that's four. Made Mumble and a nitwit. And these guys were best friends. They all lived in the same village. Somehow they could breed when they were all males, but um sure. Don't want to go into that. Anyway. And these guys were the best of friends. One day, the nitwit villager was like, hey Roger. And he's like, yeah. He goes, how are you? He goes, I'm pretty good today. He goes, well, I've got an amazing adventure for you. You need to go see Richard the cartographer and he will send you on a great adventure. So Roger went away from Nitwit the Nitwit villager to Rod Richard the cartographer and said, hey Richie, how are you going? And Richie's like, no, I'm going good, thanks. And he sends him off on an adventure because, you know, they just spoke for ages. Anyway, gets sent off on an adventure to go find a mending book. Yeah, he goes on this big adventure and one day he returns back to the village with a mending book and he found this mending book in a house that had with golden guards in it. He was a ninja. You see what's going on? We're just, we're just going on. It's a, it's a sort of play on, play on sort of thing. So, he's found this many book, he's come back and he's you know, studied it and copied it, and he became the well-known villager who was very expensive for his book because it took him forever to find it for wonderful mending books. And this Roger then got trapped by a yell and taken away. The end. What a great story. Oh, this is going to be difficult with the lava lake. I hope you guys did enjoy that story. But as you can see, ooh, that's not going to show us. Oh, okay. I look at portal. I did not see that coming past. Anyway, um, I want to stop here and grab some leather. I can plug this up. Don't want Richie, Roger, Roger to die. Anyway, but I thought we got a lot further than we did, but apparently not. So once this lava. Yeah, so, what I'm going to do is continue on this adventure so you guys don't have to stand here forever and go, Oh, Bender is taking forever. I'm going to cut here and I'll, well, I'll catch up with you guys later. 
Okay. Just pushed him through and he's in the boats. There we go. Sent through two boats and he's here. There we go. We have got Roger over to the iron farms and that's where we're going to finish today's episode by the iron farms because we have the yellow distillery road who's been building iron farms for us so we can come here and you know afk to get iron and spawn in here basic design falls still in oops falls into here it goes into these chests and the iron so i'm happy with this Roger's here. He yells here to collect him. There you go. Here's Roger. Take care. There we go. And that wraps up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Might have been a long one, might have been a short one again. I didn't really record. Didn't even not record. Record time that I've done. Anyway. Haven't even liked bad yet, so basically right now I want you guys to hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode because I know I did. It was great fun and it really su helps support me, but that's all I've got time for today. This has been Ben and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.